Welcome back to a new Boom Beach video guys. Today I thought it would just be beneficial to jump on my low level account and just clear my map. Like I haven't done this kind of video in a while and I'm starting to come across players who are way higher than me in level. I mean this player is already about 10 levels higher than me so I really thought it'd be helpful if I just jumped on this account and did a bunch of warrior attacks so you guys can learn some warrior strategy. So the main thing with warriors is don't flare to a building. Unless, I mean, there are certain situations where it's fine, but our main goal is to get our hero, Brick, Battle Orders, right under the core. And uh, this video will be geared more towards low slash mid-level players, but honestly, the warrior tips I give and the warrior attacks I do are pretty much constant at any level, which that's one of the reasons I like warriors so much. The strategy doesn't really change. It's pretty much the same exact combination. A lot of players that are in the level 30s will start hitting hard players around 500, 550 medals. And that is what I'm pushing up to. I don't know how far we're going to get in today's video, but this player, level 31, doesn't even have smoke yet. And they're sitting at 430 medals, which is absolutely insane. Just going the offensive route. But then I see that they have a blue statue, and I'm a little confused why. Because if you're a level 31 this high up and you have a blue masterpiece, like that's not going to change anyone's mind. Everyone is still going to attack your base because everyone is already 10 levels, 15, 20 levels higher than you. So why do you have a blue statue if you're a level 31 at and, and you get matched up against people way higher than you? So that's one of the reasons you don't have blue statues it's because they are pretty useless so you know this guy's a shield generator i could find a new opponent i'm not going to try to attack a player that has a shield generator unless i'm forced to this player is 10 levels higher than me just going the warrior route this um symmetry is usually not a good thing when it comes to boom beach base designs um, you'll see a lot of players have symmetry and some of the top players will have symmetry But when it comes down to it This sort of symmetry where you have lines of defenses isn't what you want because it's very easy to funnel warriors through a line that Slowly decreases space in between so just try to avoid having like straight lines in your base because it just makes smoky hits so much better the more you can confuse your opponent and try to get them to mess up, the better. So, I'm a level 38 on this account. I'll be honest, I uh, was seeing some friends this weekend and haven't been able to play Boom Beach much. So, I really haven't had time to push and upgrade my offense. So, that's why I'm upgrading like a sniper tower right now. It's just, just something that's upgrading. Nothing exciting though. And we're gonna get back to offense in today's video. We'll probably gym up the sniper tower and upgrade hopefully a landing craft or a gunboat. If we could upgrade our gunboat, I'd be happy. And I would say that would be a successful video. Also, I haven't been playing a lot of warships just because it's just been a hard season and I'm, I'm just waiting for season 13. And I'm gonna jump on the season 13 grind and uh, play season 13 when it comes out. So, I'm super excited about that, but I'm not gonna be pushing on Season 12. Cool. We're just gonna funnel my troops back, get them in a nice line, get them on the headquarters, and then when they're about to walk out of the smoke, I'll drop a flare to the core. We just don't want warriors to step out, and we'll just drop a couple shocks. Also, we have the remote defibrillator, so... Uh, we can also resurrect some troops if we wanted to, which wouldn't be that big of a deal for warriors, but it could help if you're using tanks and you want some riflemen on the beach. When you don't have critters, you can kind of use it as a critter alternative. A little less predictable than critters, but if you don't have critters, when do you unlock critters? I think it's like HQ 18 or something. Okay, so here we go. Here's a level 46 and has some ice statues it's okay it has some mines in a not comfortable spot but it's gonna be fine because uh warriors are just overpowered at any level you use them at but this player has a higher hq level than the last couple i think 
We're just gonna get right under it, and then we'll drop a flare to the headquarters when my hero gets there. Perfect. Activate my hero, and drop a few shocks. I really don't like shock blasters, and I'll try to usually shock shock blasters if I can. I just don't like how they take down warriors, and they can honestly take down like four or five warriors over the time it takes your warriors to defeat the core. So, especially at this level, I'll usually drop shock uh, shocks on the shock blasters. Okay, so here we go. Here's the level 45. Again, another player that has ice, but why? Because the ice isn't going to be able to stop me from defeating them. But honestly, if you haven't had as much experience in Boom Beach as I have, then the ice might actually stop. But this player has such a low level core. I bet this player is one of those players that max out every headquarter level and if you're one of them don't feel bad it's just if, if that's the way you want to play boom beach it's fine like you do you but it's not the most efficient way to level up there we go you know i i dropped a a defib on the bottom i think that's what it's called hopefully and it brought back a couple of troops but honestly i don't think it did anything i probably should drop it sooner if i wanted it if i wanted it to take down if I wanted it to protect me. Okay, so Simos at a low level are a little bit weird to attack against. And this player has like a 30% building health. Wow. This is going to be rough. Okay. We can still win, but it's if we will be able to win on the first attack is the thing. Mines have to be taken out. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to space out my troops like this. Get smokes. Drop that. And then we're just going to pre-fire our smokes. So the Simo takes down as few of troops as possible. We'll drop a defib. Maybe we'll get some riflemen spawning in that the Simo will attack. We'll drop a couple shocks down. You know, we got all of our warriors back that the Simo took out. So it's really not that big of a deal. If the defib wasn't here, you definitely could take out the base the same way. I, I really don't think I needed it. But I, since I have it, I'm going to save a couple more troops by dropping it. Because the Simo will target riflemen that get spawned and I'll be able to do a little more damage. So I'd be able to take down the core faster. But I think that's all the players I had. Dang it. See, it's not that hard taking down players. I'm just kidding. I know some of you have gotten players that are way higher than you in level. So I'm not, I'm not trying to make it sound like your experiences don't matter or you're just bad at Boom Beach. Like some of you are attacking level, um, people that are 15 20 levels higher than you and at a certain point warriors just like won't be able to physically deal enough damage to take down something of that caliber so here we just lost a warrior dang it it's not a big deal since i have instant training but still but still so yeah it, it is a very big deal for a bunch of players the the fact that you will be matched up against people that are 15 20 levels higher than you consistently and honestly you can't you can't really do anything about it and that's the part that sucks a lot of players just want it changed but in all honesty like you can't you can't really change it like try suggesting something that doesn't make it exploitable for high level players there is a there have been times in Boom Beach's history where they've tried to fix it and top players just find a way to exploit it. And uh, people find a way to exploit it, not even top players. So devise something and then bring it to me and I will tell you a way to exploit it. How about that? And actually, I think that we have the best system. So when you're a low level, you're gonna be matched up with players around your same XP level, your level which is good, but the more medals you gain, the less the matchmaking system will take um, player level into account, up to 600 medals. And then at 600 medals, I think it just tosses it all out the window and it's all about matching you up with players around your victory point level. So I, I think that's the way it works. It might just be slowly weaned off until it just isn't nothing and then that's 600 medals. It's a little unclear to me which one it is, I'm sure there's players 
that watch our videos that know exactly how the matchmaking system works. And if you're pushing, you really do have to know it down to a T. But if you make it all about level, which a lot of lower level players want, I don't know how how big this core is, so we might fail this drastically, and I just lost my hero. Oh, we still have her. Okay. Oh, frick. I did not see that shock launcher. Oh, this, is, this might be a loss. This might be a loss. But if you think... Okay, Christian. Why don't they just make it all about level? Because then top players are going to be like level... Whatever the best level is for pushing, where it's super easy to attack and defend. I don't know. It's just always exploitable. And there was one time in Boom Beach's history, the max level was like 62. So it was a while ago. We're going to attack this again. And I'm going to win this time. Um, the max level was like 62 or something. And there were players on the leaderboard that were level 48. And had only offense you know, they had that one level one a sniper tower, and that's not what Boom Beach wants. They want a mix between offense and defense, and that's good, but at the same time, it's just very easy to um, feel like it's not the way it should be, because you're being matched up with low level players. So, I understand your frustration. Trust me, I do. Like, there are times when I'll get matched up against super high players at my low level, and I just lost this somehow even worse than before. Here's what I want you to do. Comment a system down below that's different from the current one, and I'll try my best to explain how easy it is to exploit it. Okay, so this type of base, by the way, would be super easy if I wasn't using warriors. <laughs> but... Alas, I am using warriors, and those are very high-level mines for my little baby warriors. I think what I'll do is I'll just drop. You know what? I'm going to retreat. I, I really do want to defeat this base, but I need to see how much is on the core first. Not even that much. 150,000. I don't know. We'll try to take down the mines. Oh, the last hit from the barrage. Perfect. Drop my troops. And get a smoke down. Flare up. I'm trying to keep my hero alive. A couple more smokes. We should be able to beat this one. Good. My hero is there and alive. I think the reason I lost the last battle was because my hero was dead. And we're actually going to drop another shock on the top to stop some of the extra splash. And this will be a win. You know, it just I just have to take a step back and focus in for a sec and uh, to really defeat a base. But let me know down below if you think you have a system that doesn't have any way of being exploited. And I'll, I'll try my best. Like, there might be a system that I haven't thought of. Or the current system might have been different. Or the current system might be different. But I think it's a pretty good system, in my opinion. I just... Like, don't think there's a way to fix it. So, yep, not going to be able to defeat Sage 5. And I'm going to leave my NPC bases because those are super boring to take out. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to take those out now. I will take them out eventually, but I'm, I'm just not going to focus on that now. So we can't even upgrade. Oh, we can. Okay. Can we upgrade a regular one? No. Okay, I think after taking down NPC bases, I'm going to be able to upgrade one of my landing crabs. And we'll get it to hold 20 troops, level 16, and that will be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.